Welcome to the Electrical and Electronic Engineering Lecture Series. Your anchor person is Professor Michael Sindinechi. Our topic today is Sustainable 21st Century Learning Skills for Engineering Students. Recently, I've been delivering lectures on Engineering Lecture Series. Today, I will digress a bit to talk on 21st century learning skills. As students are being taught, it is good that they are made to be conversant with the skills they need to imbibe to be relevant in the 21st century. I sincerely hope that students as well as their lecturers will find this topic very useful. It, go, it is going to be a series. So please subscribe, like, and share so that you can easily get the subsequent models. Also, this topic is for parents to help them guide their children who will be going to the university as soon as possible. We have the lectures in our YouTube channel. You can get to the link, https youtube.com at indinetimichaelc. Let's start with some basic definitions. Sustainability. Say that sustainable development is defined as the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. This is as stated by the World Commission on Environment and Development. As you go on, you see that you needed ICT facilities to be able to imbibe these scales. So we define ICT as an extensional term for information technology IT that stresses the role of unified communications and the integration of telecommunications and computers, as well as necessary enterprise software, middleware, and hardware in communicating digital information. You look at the 21st century skills, learning skills, say 21st century learning skills, are the abilities that today's students need to succeed in their future careers. They are all skills that every student needs to master in order to pave the way towards their academic excellence. The first century learning scale represents. We have what we call the core enablers, under the core enablers, we have the five C's called the creativity, collaboration, communication, critical thinking, cultural competence. We have problem solving, curiosity, adaptability, leadership, time management, study skills, technology skills, flexibility, and questioning. We also have what we call the electives that is social skills, assessment, media literacy, analysis, productivity, creativity, civic literacy, hands-on learning, designing ethical decision-making, innovation, information literacy, entertaining, social setting, and organizational scale. So let's look at them one by one that creativity is the use of imagination or original ideas to make something inventiveness. It empowers people to see concepts in different perspectives, thereby leading them to innovative thinking and problem solving. One of the best ways to teach students creativity scale 
is by giving them the opportunity to teach their fellow students in the classrooms. Subject notwithstanding, asking students to teach their peers require them to creatively assess how they are going to take information and present it in an interesting way. Next C is the collaboration. Here, collaboration means getting students to work together to achieve compromise and get the best possible results from solving a problem. It includes them sharing ideas, creating new understandings, and working on a common goal, which we term teamwork. develop collaboration skills. To develop collaboration skills, everyone must participate and this participation should be through sharing of ideas, offering suggestions and helping with the work. Everyone agrees to listen to others and keep an open mind to ideas and suggestions with the goal of coming to a group consensus. To develop collaboration skills, everyone helps to build on an idea and make it better by asking questions, solving problems, and working together. Everyone must recognize that all ideas can be improved upon and that constructive criticism is about the idea and not about the person who suggested it. Next thing is communication. Communication skills encompass the ability to speak, listen, and write effectively in order to share information and ideas with others. With improved communication skills, students will have the confidence and knowledge to seek jobs, perform well in interviews, and excel in the workplace. Our teaching must incorporate different facets of communication, which include verbal communication, nonverbal communication, use of gestures, written communication, collaborative communication, and use of social media. Then, look at the critical thinking. Say that the 21st century skills that enables a person to think rationally and logically in order to reach a plausible conclusion is the person's critical thinking ability. That include also the act of analyzing facts to understand a problem or topic thoroughly. It also involves logically assessing information to make informed decisions. Critical thinking skills empower a person to decipher complex problems and make impartial and better decisions based on effective information. A critical thinker assesses facts and figures and data objectively and determines what to believe and what not to believe. And finally, the cultural competence. In our diverse, ever-changing world, it is essential that the 21st century classroom emphasize cultural competence skills beyond an appreciation for other cultures. These skills will be critical as students for future growth on a global scale. Cultural competence means being aware of our own cultural beliefs and values and how these values may be different from other people's cultural beliefs and values. It also includes the ability to learn, appreciate, and honor the different cultural beliefs and values of others.
differences. Thank you for listening. Please follow us in this lecture series by subscribing, like, and share. Thank you.